Hi, I'm Brooke from Simply Speaking SLT, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to open up a PowerPoint download from Teachers Pay Teachers on the iPad. So you're going to need a couple of apps first. So the first app you're going to need on your iPad to make sure you have is Microsoft PowerPoint. This is a free download. Uh, you only have to sign in to the app with an Office 365 login if you're wanting to actually edit and create PowerPoints. But to view, you can do this for free and just go ahead and into the app store and then you'd hit open. And then for the pro things you download from Teachers Pay Teachers, for example, all my PowerPoint products and PowerPoint games, they all open in the uh, free version. If it needs to, the document needs to be edited, that should be outlined in the description of a product and you'll know uh, that you'll need the paid version or need to do it on your computer if you have the, the paid version on your computer. Okay, and the other app you're going to need is this app here called File Explorer or FE File Explorer. So this is also free, so go ahead and download that. And once you have these two apps, PowerPoint and File Explorer, you'll be able to open it up on your, on your iPad. The reason you need this app here is it unzips the folder because um, all of my PowerPoint games come in a zipped folder and you your iPad can't automatically unzip those you'll need this app to do that and it is free and I've been using it for over a year okay the next thing you're going to want to do is go to teachers pay teachers to your purchase section and find the download you're wanting to open in PowerPoint so for the purpose of this tutorial here I'm going to use my pop-up pirate game companion this will also work for my PowerPoint games and my other spinners so I'm going to go ahead and hit download now I'm in Safari I've chosen to open it in Safari because I know all iPads come with Safari and so I know you'll have it so it's just downloading now and then if you're using another browser it will work very similar uh, okay so see how down here it says open in file explorer just down here so I'm going to go ahead and hit open in file explorer and it's going to do that for me now and I have to choose where I want to save it and so I'm going to go and save it I've put in these folders but you could just save it anywhere in local just drop it there um, I already have this all organized so I'll just save it there into game companions and it's important to note that once you've saved something in file explorer you won't have to go ahead and do this uh, all over again, the unzipping, the downloading from Teachers Pay Teachers. It will always be there in File Explorer. So when I want to open something, I go find it in File Explorer. Then I follow the instructions in which I'm about to show you and open it up in PowerPoint again. So it's a really nice place to store all of your speech language therapy materials on the in the one place. And that's why I have it organized like this. And now in this app, if I go to where I saved it, you may have just dropped it right here in local. And I go to game companions there it is right there this here this yellow is this yellow symbol here means this is a zipped folder and we need to unzip it so if we click on the three dots right here we will be able to hit unarchive and I'm gonna hit unarchive at the top and it has now put it right here this one right here is our pop-up pirate game companion folder and it has now been unzipped and so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the PowerPoint file which is what we're wanting to open because these are PDFs uh, and they're explained um, in the instructions on how to use here that's also a PDF so if we go to the PowerPoint file and click that it's not going to look right for a moment it's going to open it in its viewer but it doesn't work yet we have to hit this blue arrow up here so I'm going to do that and hit open in now that blue arrow that box with the blue arrow coming out of it that is going to be how this works on most platforms you're opening a file in look for that there that box hit it and then move along to copy to PowerPoint now one of three things are going to happen it will either open up looking like this and then you need to put it into presentation mode for it to work which is up here so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that uh, there we go it looks like it's not full screen because I'm recording my screen but it does come up full screen on an iPad uh, the software that I'm using to do this tutorial just doesn't allow that um, and then you will click the sound you want to work on or if you're working on open-ended you'll click up here on the pirates hat but I'm going to go to the initial sound and then 
you hit the play button there, that round play button in the middle of the spinner once, and it will start to spin. And then the arrows will move as well. And then to stop the arrows, you hit the play button again. So I'm going to do that in just a bit now. So our student would have to say coin five times. So let's have a look at what else might happen. We'll have a talk about what else might happen when you open it in PowerPoint. When you open it in PowerPoint, what else might happen is you might still see the last thing you had open in there. And if this happens, all you need to do is use your fingers to pinch the screen and close that presentation, which I'll actually do now. Uh, and it will take you to the edit section and your the product the file you've just opened should be there. This what's happened is, is PowerPoint has opened up the file in behind your presentation you have in presentation mode and you need to just exit presentation mode if you were currently looking at something else in presentation mode. Or what, what might happen is the, you may never see this screen here and it may just go straight into presentation mode and you're able to use it as, um, as explained uh, in the tutorial just a few moments ago where you spin the spinner. So um, those are the three display options that could happen. I hope that you found this helpful and um, do be in touch if you have any questions. I have uh, many PowerPoint products in my store that work great on an iPad, such as PowerPoint games, articulation spinners, game companions like this for games like Pop Up Pirate, Pop the Pig, and many others. So um, yeah, do check those out and do be in touch if you have any questions. Uh, my email will be available somewhere within the description of this video. Bye!